Good morning on Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week, the greatest week of the year for all Christians. I hope you received your card, the card that we've sent out with a little piece of palm in. I hope you received, and it comes, of course, with love, it comes with prayers. We're united in our love for Jesus, our Saviour, our Lord. We're united in our prayers. In Holy Week, the Church calls us to pause and to let Jesus, God's suffering servant, let Jesus who gave himself out of love this week by dying and by rising from the dead, to pause and to give thanks. One thing that struck me uh, in these days of, um, that we're going through in the world, this time of uh, this very difficult time when many people are suffering because of this virus. And, uh, but there's also been a, a tremendous uh, amount of uh, goodness, of goodwill, of neighborliness, of kindness, and of gratitude as well. And maybe, I speak for myself, often when we're busy in our lives and you know, our diaries are full and we're going here, we're going there, we don't stop and say thank you. Thank you for God's love shown to us through others, the carers, uh, the workers, the ones who keep, keep the country going, always, but we're more aware of them now. And I want to say thank you to God for that. Thank you that God has given us this opportunity to stop, to pause, and to, to be grateful. But it's a, week, um, it's a week when we want to also reach out to others. We want to share our faith. We want to say to all, Jesus is Lord. We want to say to everyone, join us in saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings. The one who is truly in charge, and we see that in the Passion. Do read the Passion, St. Mark's Gospel, most of chapter, St. Matthew, sorry, Matthew this year, most of chapter 26 and 27 is the passion, and it speaks powerfully to, a, to us of the Lord who gave himself out of love. Don't forget your um, branch uh, on your door, just to mark this week, so that we're united uh, in faith and hope. And tonight, the light in your window, uh, this evening, marking this great week, this week of God's love, and again, a sign of tremendous hope for us all. Let's place our hope and trust in Jesus crucified and risen.